Hey, this is Kevin here, Top 100 Financial Advisor, two-time author, one-time bestseller, and I want to describe investing and describe the whole buy low, sell high thing with the market using a MacBook. And right now, the market is down. It's going to be crazy for the foreseeable near-term future. And a lot of people asking and asking and asking, should you buy now? Should you buy low? Isn't it a great thing because the market is on sale? And there is some confusion in that. In some cases, yes, it may be a good time to buy now and wait it out for the next few years. In some cases, no. So the key is different stocks act differently. Not every stock in the world, even the most popular ones, are down because of the coronavirus. Some are down because their industry is not great. Some are down because they switched CEOs. So I want to use this MacBook to help you to understand what works best for you. And that's that's the key thing is, does it work for you and your risk tolerance and how you react to losses? And does it work for your goals? If you're within the five-year range of retirement, that might not work for you. So this MacBook, how much would you pay for a brand new MacBook? Put in the comments, like how much do you pay for something that's a MacBook that is brand new? You're probably gonna pay 1,000, 1,200 for it because that's just the regular price. Cool, that's, that's what you signed up for when you get a MacBook. How much would you pay if it were $500? Would you pay for a brand new MacBook for $500? Most people say, hey, that's on sale. I am getting it because I can hold on to it. I can resell it. I know I'm getting a great value for what I'm paying for it. Would you buy a MacBook, a brand new MacBook for 99 cents? Probably not. Because at that point, you're wondering what is wrong with this MacBook? Why is it so low? This is probably not real are not great for me. So in the stock market, you need to treat the things in the exact same way. Disney is down, not only because of coronavirus, but also their CEO stepped down. So it's low, but is it $500 low where it could still make sense for you? Or is it in the 99 cent barrel and it's not a great company anymore? Now, I, don't, I still think Disney is gonna be okay, but again, these are things that you need to ask yourself. Another company, ExxonMobil, one of the biggest companies in the world, they process oil and do that whole thing. They've been sliding down for five years. Regardless, if the coronavirus were cured tomorrow, they may still be down because they have other issues to deal with. That's a question that you have to ask yourself. So again, you don't want to buy just because it's low. 99 cents for a MacBook is low. But does that mean that it is time for you to buy it just because like this is 99 cents? For 99 cents, something there may be something wrong with it, right? So when you're looking at these stocks, you want to you want to see if that's the right price for you and why it is down, not is is just low, you know. So for Amazon, it's, it could also be too high. I'm not paying twenty thousand dollars for a MacBook either. So if a stock is entirely too high and the business isn't all that good, these are things you need to concern concern yourself with. A great example was Uber. Another great example was WeWork that their valuation was entirely too high for what they actually did. And that was one reason that fell. It was like, ah, eh, the, the money and the math don't work here. This is not something that I'm going to do. So that's what you want to ask yourself. So does buy low, sell high work over time? Yes, it can. However, how low is too low? And what is low to you? And why is it low? Those are the questions you want to ask yourself. Again, I can get this for 11, 1200, maybe 1300 is probably my max for a MacBook. I'm not paying $5,000 for it. That's too high for me. I don't think it's worth $5,000. 99 cents is way too low for me. I'll get it for 500 because I think I can, I can easily resell this. I could buy a stock uh, at a certain price depending on how well I think the company can do and how well it's done in the past. So these are the questions you want to ask yourself. We feel like this is going to be a temporary thing. Just because it's temporary doesn't mean it's going to last the rest of the year. I don't know that. Um, but we know over the past it can be temporary. So those are the questions you want to ask yourself. That's how you can understand the stock market using a MacBook um, is how much you're willing to pay for it. And, you know, I can buy it for, I would buy, I would buy a MacBook today for, I don't know, seven or 800. I still think that's a good price. That doesn't mean that I buy it for 800 and tomorrow it's 500. That can happen. You can buy something on sale and the price drops tomorrow. That can happen. 
you have to be prepared for that. If you're buying right now because things are low and because you get, you're getting a great deal, that doesn't stop you or doesn't stop the stock from going down further. So you have to be prepared for that if that is something that you want to do. So those are my thoughts. That's how you understand the market with the MacBook. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about how you can start investing, go to buildingbread.com slash free. I do things like this almost every week to help you understand the market in, in ways that make sense. So click share, sign up, click the link, and I'll talk to you guys later.